Hi everyone. I'm so overwhelmed. The Lord has done great things for us and we will fulfill with joy. Today is third anniversary with me and my husband since we got married in 2018. I adore my husband so much. My husband is a wonderful man. He loves me with all his heart. And I love him with all my heart. My husband and I, we've suffered a lot of temptation and gossip and biting. But God has fulfilled his promise with us. God has loved us. God is wonderful and faithful. That's why the Bible says in Matthew chapter 19 verse 6. It says, So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate it. Let no one separate it. My husband is a caring, respectful man, humble, calm. He loved me. He loved his children. He showed me passion. He is patient. He is kind. He does not envy. He does not boast. He is not proud. He does not dishonor others. He does not look down on others. He is not hard going. He loves and respects me. If I don't stop talking about my husband, I'm not going to stop. So I put this video together, these pictures together, to appreciate my husband for all that God has used him to come into my life, the life of my children, and the love that he has shared with us. And we're still strong. Look at our beautiful children. God is wonderful. Father, we bless you. To call my, my husband a father. I thank you for this day. Oh, I remember this day so much. Our wedding is a successful marriage. Our wedding is a love. We always have time with each other. My husband is a wealthy, trusted man. In everything, I say, God, thank you. I bless God. As a wife, submit to your own husband. Ask to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. As also Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is submitted to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. My husband is loving. He loves me. 
So I will tell you, husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church. And give yourself to your hus- your wife. Give yourself to your wife that he might satisfy and cleanse her with the washing of waters. And cleanse her with the washing of waters by the word that he may present her to himself a glorious church not having spots or wrinkles or any such things that any such things but that she should be holy and without blemish Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 to 27 the Bible has made it clear for us to understand. The Bible wants us to respect our husbands. So if you are married and you want to boast on your husband, remember the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 27 about wives and husbands. Respect your husband. Respect your wife. Wives, remember they are the head of us. And husbands, Remember that Christ loved you. So you have to love your wife. No matter how fat, slim, short, tall, tiny your wife is. Always appreciate your wife. Obozi gini kana chono Ima na chukwa gozi gomo Onye no mi yu, yelo yu mi What am I, what am I looking for? Say my girl, you don't mess me up You give me you, give it you me Obozi give em a chashe so Obozi give em a chashe me My baby you no say you, you got love for me Guess I'm on my way Needed a friend And the way Needed a friend And the way I feel Now I guess I'll be with you Till the end Guess I'm on my way I'm mighty glad you stayed 